wondering if we could find a way to clean up this mess. Yeah, it's 15. Yeah, yeah. see, good job. So what's wrong with that other socket? I don't know. Oh, it might be 15. It might be loose. I think you were operating. I think it was operator trouble. <laughs> Oh yeah, let me try it again then. Well, grab me that 15 over. Oh my goodness. Watch this. Watch this. I think you were operating that other 15 wrong. Maybe I was. Is it a 15? Because earlier you guys handed me a 16 and you told me it was a 15. It was 15. Because so it 15, looked huh? like a 15. <laughs> it takes them off. <laughs> I think it was operator. <laughs> you know what? I don't want them. You, you hold them. No, I'm done. You're the bolt holder. <laughs> I'm, I'm, here, I'm the cameraman now. <laughs> the bolt holder. Here, I win. That was my demotion. Okay, flywheel's off. Oh, look at that. Hopefully they put that seal in. Should have, because they couldn't put the bearing cap on. We're just putting the bottom bolt oh. pan on. Well, it said they oil tested it so yeah how would they oil test it without that? I don't know. Where's the other one? Oh there it is. Six. Six bolts. We'll probably take the drop the whole panel. Did we ever drain the hole out of this? Do we want to? Do we dare? <coughs> probably not. Yeah. Drain the hole out. We drop the whole engine. I mean, start out close, and then you can aim it later. Stick it. A little silver in there. Yep. Yeah. Tink. Did you guys hear that? Yep. It smells burned. Don't roll the camera. No, you don't want it baptized. <laughs> They're just all tangled. One. Two. Look how willy these buggers are. Look at that. just like you did on those <laughs> little bolts. Oh, what are you talking about? Did I miss one? No, yeah, now you are. Oh, is that there the you next go. one? No, but back to you. There you go. Well, there you are. That's the next one? That's the next one. I thought, I thought there was one farther forward. <clears throat> you got it. Jiminy Christmas, look at that. Holy Christ, what do you call that? Probably. Yeah, if you look up here, you can see the main bearing squished out. You probably need a light to see it, but yeah. I can see it. Why so I look in there? Yeah. More main bearing, yeah. There's a whole lot of stuff in there. And that means that oil pump doesn't keep up very well. Or the oil sits up in the engine too long. It doesn't come back down. That's like you said. It was... Oh, wow. wow. The little gun did it. Look at that. The little gun that could. Unfortunately, we have to... Probably got the little gun all oil, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't matter. Oil ran down the socket a little bit. Alright, now we got to leverage this off to the side. 
Oh, there we go. Just turned it around, but it comes right off. See, this oil pump doesn't look too much different than they used to put in the old 350s. One bolt holds it on. You got this shaft coming down from the cam. Your oil pump is not turning very well either. Of course, it's sucking up all that metal. It should turn a lot easier than that. I guess it ain't seized up, it's still turning. When you drop the engine on it, well, it's... That engine is ginormous. Yep, this engine is huge. <laughs> yeah, this thing's like 500 pounds or something. Is that the Suburban's engine? Yep. Oh. It's old engine. It's old engine, yeah. All right, so we're washing the so we're washing the parts that we took off of the engine. Yuck! The water's disgusting. It has oil in it. Hold on, it's not oil. It's it's grease. All right. So, Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm trying to get the exhaust that's out of the head. So I got those inverted torques. It's like a backwards torque. These are these look like a torx bit on these. But this one is kind of stuck, so I'm trying to work it in and out. What are you taking off? This exhaust that. Well, we have got the engine down from the cherry picker. And we've also got a disconnect. Slowly, we got the engine down. Now, we're going to need to lift up the new engine. Go. Well, careful. This engine's heavy. Yes. All right. We all go through, hey, Grandpa, what are you doing? Putting the gasket in here. See how it just kind of fits in that groove. Oh. Can I do this? Can I put, can put, continue putting it in? Can I put it in the rest of the way? Yeah, you just, you just start doing it from that end. Go ahead and help. Seems like it's not. Seems like this one is, is a pretty safe part. It isn't very dangerous at all. Yeah, you're just going to get it started and then push it in gentle. Should go easy. Yeah. Don't force it. All the little loops should line up. Yeah, it's just going right into those grooves. Yep. This is dirty. It's clean. Well, this part's a little oh, dirty. Oh, well, the paint came off. Mm-hmm, the paint's coming off. So now we can work on the same. Okay, that one's... Hey! This new. There you go. Okay, now we're ready to put the coils on. Oh, the coils! Can I carry the other coil? Probably. the block why can't we just move this cherry picker that chain's starting to annoy me I don't really see any signs of any brackets hanging off you want to lubricate that so it sucks good when it starts up yeah. You got any motor oil? I don't think so.
getting tricky. There's no gasket on that. There's just is this cherry picker made? Gets really tight. But is this cherry picker made by Pittsburgh? <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I understand. Okay.